Hello everyone and welcome to Katy, Texas. Here we are on a nice beautiful day after it was raining pretty harshly in the morning here in uh, Houston, Texas area, which uh, Katy, Texas is. And we are riding in a Cinco Ranch area right now. Gonna be taking a ride to get a car wash, which I have a membership monthly membership to here in my vehicle so welcome you're welcome to uh, take this ride with me and hopefully you enjoy it we'll see the soap and water all over my vehicle soon The car wash is not that far away from where I am right now. Yeah, yeah it is a nice day. It's the, towards the end of April here. So, in the Houston area, metro area, in Texas, generally, it starts to warm up a lot. So, uh, temperatures in the 80s are not too uncommon, in uh, 80s Fahrenheit, that is. So, that's like 30-something um, Celsius, I believe. Um, maybe even high 30s. Um, yeah, so it's not too uncommon. And that vehicle kind of cut it close. I'm trying to make this turn. This came out, out of the side. But luckily we didn't hit. Yeah, so the car wash is coming up. It's right after this parking lot. It's actually in this same uh, parking lot, a different part of it or shopping center, I, I wanted to say. It's parking area also, but of the shopping center. And here it is, Cinco Odo. Cinco Odo 2, off of a 14, FM 1463, which the FM is farm to market road. I just have to wait for this guy to do this. How's it going? How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Yes, sir. Just relax today. Yeah, nice Thank day, you. finally. Nice day. After Thank all you. the rain in the oh, morning. Oh, yeah. We need to start tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. <After> tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> all right, take care. All right. And here we go. Let's see how uh, the car wash goes here. <laughs> This part is always fun. And for those that are watching, don't, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Make a comment. Let me know if you could take your car to a car wash, if you haven't have a vehicle. Because um, some people live in areas in the world that they don't need it. For example, even in the United States, if you live in New York City, an area like that, you won't need it. A vehicle. So you might not have a car. Um, but if you live in the Houston metro area, if you don't have a car, you kind of, uh, in a lot of ways, you're gonna not be able to go to a lot of places. So it's better that you do have it. Here we go. of course you know has a roller and rolls your car you put it in neutral and uh, it'll go in now you're gonna get a lot of the sound and noises from the car wash so if I'm speaking I'll have to raise my voice because of that <laughs> because it gets loud 
as you'll see soon or and hear soon. All right, here it is. It's rinsing the vehicle now. It's putting some soap on it. And my vehicle is making that beeping sound saying warning approaching object because of the objects on the side. It has a sensor in it. And I have a 2023 Honda CRV vehicle. Oh. That's why it's making that noise. It has the sensors on the sides and the front and the back. And all kinds of places. vehicle is getting washed. Usually more soap than that falls down, actually. They drop more soap than that. I'm surprised they didn't do as much. Oh, here's more soap now. Or this may be the sealant. There's some kind of liquid sealant they put to, to protect the paint. And that's maybe what it is now that they're putting on there. And after the car wash, I drive to the I drive to the mall. Let's we'll see how it goes. If I don't end the broadcast before that, if I don't end the video before that. Or vlog or whatever you want to call it. To me it's all the same for the same idea as the as a video of a, some kind. Even a vlog. A video vlog. Now it's rinsing the vehicle and it has these big dryers on top. See those things, those three things? And the sides, those, and the sides right there. Those are uh, dryers also. It's drying the vehicle out. It dries it, but the guy also uses a towel to clean it also. I mean to dry it up even more so. Even though it's drying and it does leave and it has some water spots all over it. They'll try to get most of those. I used my wiper to get some of it. Some of the water off the windshield. drying the vehicle. There you see the towel going in front of the camera. And there he is. He's going to move to the front of the vehicle to dry it. And then he'll um, get the sides of the vehicle and the back too. It's a fairly quick drying, you know, after the car wash. So the car is fairly clean, even if he didn't do that, but it's obviously better to clean, to dry up the water spots too. Yeah. So the sun is out pretty nicely out, as you can see. As soon as he finished drying it, I'm gonna continue riding. So, thanks a lot for being in this video, watching this right now. And if you could watch the whole thing, that'd be great. And share it and comment. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That'd be great. Because after all, anybody, not just me, but anybody that makes videos or vlogs or even live streams, we do it to get the views, eh? after all. <laughs> so, if I, want, if I didn't want to get the views, I mean, it's YouTube is still good in some ways because you could make stuff for yourself so you could watch it later. Like even if you put it in private mode, the, the videos. But it's better if you don't have others watch it too. Not just because you could get paid 
for it for your you know making videos but also so you are you showing people areas and experiences you have so others can view it also hopefully good experiences <laughs> here we go and every time they wash the car there's always some water that still drips towards the back especially the back window of the vehicle as you're driving but that's always going to be the case because they don't really dry the top of the vehicle like um, the roof of it you know so more water comes down as you're driving the, it carries the water because of the aerodynamics of the vehicle and everything to the back and you could see it on the back windshield I wonder if the vehicle in front of me is a Dodge or a Jeep I can't take, tell let me see if I could see it when I move closer oh it's neither it says Hemi, I think it's a what do they call those, are they Hummers? It might be a Hummer 1, I don't know I don't think it's a Ford, but I think the symbol fell down from where it should be, like right there in the center, should be there, but I think it's missing it or they took it off. Might be a Hummer, I don't think it's a Jeep, it looks like it, or a Dodge, or, but it's probably a Hummer more than anything else, but it is very small though. It's not much bigger than the Honda CRV I'm sitting in right now. And as you know, I, you might know, you might not know, but the 2023 uh, has been completely remodeled on the Honda CRV, and it's bigger. It's a bigger vehicle than the 22, 2022. The 2017 through the 2022 were um, the same model, pretty much, for the most part with very slight changes on any of them. But size-wise, I actually preferred that size more because um, this vehicle to me is a little bit too long as far as for a, you know, for a compact size vehicle. Because any bigger than this, it would be like a mid-size um, SUV at that point. And it almost has it has actually more room than some mid-size vehicles do the inside of this because Honda utilizes the space within their vehicles very good that's one strong point of Honda other than making great engines and very, these very good um, transmissions too especially for CVT which is continuously variable transmission um, not so many people are fans of it and mostly now it's because they're not as fun to drive as a conventional transmission which has gears and changes but I, I do have to admit this vehicle is slightly slower than I had the 2020 model before this um, which got totaled actually at no fault to my own somebody um, lost control in um, high water and they smashed into me and it looked like the, the damage didn't look like that bad when you looked at it but there was enough to total it, it was, because the airbags had popped I had like three or four airbags pop in the vehicle because the car spun around and everything but mainly the one area of the vehicle got hit mostly and I thought that we're going to be able to fix it because it was a fairly new car and it happened last year in 2022 so the vehicle was only two years old when it happened but they deemed it a total loss so i had to buy another vehicle and right around now they're not giving the best deals on vehicles so i had to spend a lot of money on this but luckily they gave me a lot of money for the used vehicle too i mean for the one that got totaled for the 2022 for the 2020 also
minutes so now we're still riding I think I will go to the mall um, oh, the truck is stop and go to the other lane safely As you can see, Katy area is very nice looking. Very nice residential areas. And, but for Texas, it is kind of on the more expensive side too. And cost of living has been going up the past two, three years. I think pretty much all over the world, but definitely in the United States. Also, if nothing else. But this area has also been going up a lot. Whenever you're in roundabouts like that, you have to be careful because some vehicles apparently, some drivers don't know the driving laws and roundabouts that they're supposed to stop if they're coming into the oncoming traffic. Like that blue vehicle, he kept inching forward. So had he hit me, he would have been at fault, but of course nobody's, I'm not trying to get into an accident, whether it's my fault or not, ever. <laughs> but for safety reasons, yeah, you gotta be careful. Very nice um, homes around here. They have the Avalon um, subdivisions, and th their homes are always nice. Most of them are around a million dollars here. Million USD, of course. US dollars. Some of them more, some of them a little bit less, but what makes um, Texas very expensive and people moving here from New York and especially California. California, they have very low taxes on their houses. Even though their homes and home values are a lot higher, their percentage of tax they pay is very very low so even though their house may be worth millions over there and here they can buy a house for a million the taxes they have to pay they, they get really, really get surprised when they come here and the amount of taxes is like three percent or three and a half percent of it here so if a house is a million dollars you can imagine three percent of that maybe over thirty thousand dollars a year you have to pay so yeah, it's not very light. Whereas in California, they pay like 0.02% or something like that. Like not even a fraction of a percent they pay. So their taxes on a million dollar home ends up on millions of dollars home. A house that costs maybe, you know, 10 million there, their taxes may be lower than a house that costs a million. There. So that goes to show how much of a difference it is. So yeah, Texas may be less expensive in some ways, but it's more expensive in some other ways too. So for all those people moving here, <laughs> constantly thinking, oh, I'm gonna live really cheap. Uh, not necessarily. It's still expensive here also in some ways. Yeah, we're still in Katy. So a pretty large city here. Compared to Houston, it's smaller, but it's still not a very, it's not a very small city by any uh, means. Because Katy, the name Katy, it's really greater Katy, Katy area, but it's all just called Katy now. But the original Katy, forget the name right now of it, but it's just the one area of Katy. Where, 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 mainly um, the downtown was. But yes, we're headed to Katie Mills Mall. Once again, please hit that thumbs up if you haven't. 
but only hit it once if you've been watching the whole time <laughs> and you hit it because if you re-hit it it takes off the thumbs up then um, make a comment or a few comments even better so not just for my uh, videos but any video that you watch if you want to support that person or individual um, because the more comments and more activity there is on a video the more likely and more people live and watch it so for that reason if you want to really support someone other than just watch it and sharing it would be to hit the thumbs up and comment also if you can if you're not logged in you're, you're unable to do that by the way so if you have a Google account and you're logged in with your Google you could make comments you don't have to be a youtuber yourself to make a comment even if you don't make videos yourself you could still comment and hit the thumbs up but if you're not logged in at all you're unable to as you can see very nice road here large trees and everything on the side All of this is still Katy, Texas. And we are on Kingsland Boulevard right now. Kingsland Boulevard. Which goes directly to Katy Mills Mall. Which I'm intending to get to. in front of us XLE yeah I like um, Honda CRVs and Toyota RAV4s personally a lot because um, they're not too big of an SUV they're not too small either they do the job they're fairly good on gas and um, maintenance to keep uh, up on their maintenance is uh, fairly reasonable also they don't fall apart they're fairly reliable and they have good resale value too so in the end you're gonna get your money back and more and you have a good driving experience with both of those vehicles so I like both of them generally I like Honda's and Toyota's Honda's a little bit more personally but Toyota's are very good vehicles also very reliable Toyotas are actually known to be more reliable than Honda and um, Acura. Toyota and Lexus are considered more reliable generally, but you know, vehicle to vehicle, of course, and you're driving, the way you drive and everything can make a difference. That light almost turned red on me because the way the vehicle that Toyota RAV4 was dri the driver was going very very slow I was trying to make the light without having to stop another it was a long light too, so I was able to make it but barely but it didn't turn green for too long as you noticed in the video All right, so here we are at the mall. I think I'm gonna end it soon. Hope you enjoyed this once again. Hit, remember to hit the thumbs up if you haven't already. Comment and share this if you can. And if you haven't subscribed and you like my videos, please subscribe. And hopefully we see you in the next one. Bye-bye now. For now, stop here.